Hello there, Moments with the Master. We are in 2 Corinthians 12, uh, part two of the process. Uh, and we talked about the, the process of becoming, of uh, reaching our ultimate usefulness in the kingdom. And uh, if we will start, the first thing I would want to tell you is that as we travel through life. There are certain faces, certain places we go through. And remember, as we go through these next couple of weeks, it does not mean that your growth or your becoming is a strictly linear affair. It's not like in school, first, second, third grade, uh, in God, we may go first grade, tenth grade, kindergarten. So whatever that process looks like, and it looks differently for almost every one of us, because we are all different. God deals with us differently. One of the first things I would share with you is that God will give you some privileges simply because you are a child of God. God will give you some privileges. If you look at the first four verses of that 12th chapter of 2 Corinthians, the apostle writes, it is doubtful, doubtless, not profitable for me to boast. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago, whether in the body I do not know or whether out of the body I do not know, God knows. Such a one was caught up to the third heaven. And I know such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. Now he was caught up into paradise and heard inexpressible words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. Paul simply says, I was given some great privileges by the Lord. He says, I, I uh, and, and. He says, I know a man, but the best theologians say this is autobiographical for Paul. Paul is talking about himself. So he takes a retrospective view of his life and looks back 14 years ago at some of the great privileges God gave him. First of all, it said that God took him to the third heaven. Not the first heaven where the birds and the bees and the planes and helicopters. Not the second heaven where the planets and the uh, stars and all of those things are. But the third heaven where God abides. So God took Paul to heaven. And the text says he showed him some things and told him some things. So God allowed him to see. He, he pulled back the curtain and allowed him to see some things. And then God spoke some things to Paul that he couldn't. He said, I don't know if I was in my body or out of my body. Only God knows. But here's the key that Paul was given these privileges simply because God chose to do it. He didn't do anything to earn it. So he hadn't anything to boast about it was Paul that says in Ephesians 2, it is by grace, through faith we're, we're saved. It is not of our own. We don't have nothing to boast about. Paul said, I got these privileges from the Lord over 14 years ago. When I look back, God showed me and told me some things I can't even talk to you about. Secondly, not only does God give use some privileges as a child of God, God knows that such privileges can make you proud. Look at what it says in the text. Fifth verse, of such a one will I boast, yet of myself I will not boast, except in my infirmities. Look at this. For though I might decide to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will speak the truth. I will refrain, lest anyone should think of me above what he sees me to be, or years of me. Paul says, 
God understands man. One of the things about mankind is where we struggle so much with the grace of God is because we want to feel like we have something to add. We want to feel like we earned something. We want to feel like we're bootstrappers, like we pulled ourselves up by our own bootstraps. We didn't, but we like to feel that way. So Paul said God knows that even with the privileges that he gives us, which we don't deserve in any fashion, we have a tendency to become proud. This is Moments with the Master. We'll see you next time.